The first time we do something oftentimes seems so great, but then we look back and realize it wasn't as good as we remembered. This is exactly the case with my song, Young and Dumb. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm gonna put a clip here in a second. When I recorded that song, I remember thinking, this is the best song ever, and then now, Two years later, when I look back at the song, there are so many things I would change. Today, we're going to dissect this song, talk about how I wrote it, how I recorded it, and what I would do differently if I were to do it again today. You might be asking yourself, self, why should I care? Well, I'm making this video for two types of people. The first type of people are those who love my music, like listening to my music and want to hear the story behind the song. The second type of people are those who have no idea who I am, but are hoping to write their own songs and maybe even start their own home studio just like mine. I wanna help you avoid some of the mistakes that I made when I started out. So let's jump on in without any further ado. Here's Young and Dumb. Okay, so let's talk about the story behind this song. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I wasn't totally authentic with these lyrics. In fact, this is the first song that I really wrote trying to appeal to other people. I thought, hey, people might wanna hear a song that reminds them of their teenage years before bills, before stress, before all those things that life puts down on us. There was an element of truth about that. I mean, I definitely missed living at home with my parents and there's a part of me that wishes I could go back so that I can make better choices, i.e., pursuing music faster. If I would have started at 17, pursuing my music career instead of 25, which is what I did, then maybe I'd be a lot farther than I am right now. Before I jump in too far into this video, leave a like and a comment, it really helps the channel grow. I don't normally vlog like this, but I really truly enjoy doing it. If you're interested in any merch, TH merch, you can buy a shirt at my website. Just go to the website www.trevorhuntmusic.com, click on the merch tab, and you'll see all sorts of options at really affordable prices. And I get a huge cut of that that really supports making songs, videos, and future content for you guys. I truly enjoy this. Check it out. Awesome. Back to the video. Seriously though, look back at the lyrics of the song. They're not that deep. It's pretty easy to tell my motivation behind the song. Young and dumb, broken, funny, didn't have plans, didn't have money. I'm also looking back and thinking, okay, even though we were broke, we still enjoyed life. That's why the youth is spent well on the young and not the old and the more wise. So this is how I recorded the song. To be honest with you, Young and Dumb started as a complete accident. I believe I was sitting down just to play the guitar part and I thought, hey, it'd be kind of fun to add a harmonica to this. So I did the cover, I did like me singing and playing and I had a harmonica and I thought, whoa, that sounds really good. I'm gonna try to add a shaker. So then I got a shaker out and I played the shaker to it. And so now I have guitar, vocals, harmonica, shaker, and it just kind of morphed from there. I added more and more instruments throughout. Now this, every instrument's acoustic in this, so I was recording everything live in this. There was no electronic or MIDI data, but still, I added everything as it went. Completely accidental. I wasn't planning anything. I just kind of fell into the song and what it sounds like as you see it. So I would say if I'm guessing overall, and my guess could be way off, but this song at least took me 20 hours to do, to record, um, to have mixed, and then to make a video for, which in my opinion is way too long to spend on one song. And if you listen to the song now, honestly, it's not even that good. But I'm so thankful I had the experience. Next, let's talk about what went well with the song and what I would change. Because there's a lot of things I would change and a lot of things I think went really well. And this is my thing to you if you're a songwriter, the main point I would say with this that I'm super thankful for, this is the song that started it all for me. I mean, I would have no music career, I would have no subscribers, I would have nothing going for me if I hadn't started doing my own music. Young and Dumb didn't go anywhere, and neither did my next song, Fallen, but Indiana Home got like 8,000 views, or I don't even know how many it has now, but it had a lot of views, a lot more views than anything else and it was the first thing that started booking me gigs in Indiana to actually make money with my music so without Young and Dumb not, none of that would have happened so I'm very thankful for that. The other thing that I'm thankful for is I kind of learned a lot of lessons through the School of Hard Knocks. I learned first of all you got to use a metronome when you're recording music right you have to use a metronome. I mean I guess you could avoid it and be pretty good but there's a level of professionalism you'll hit with a song if you use a metronome and I would highly recommend to any musician out there, if you're gonna record a song, use a metronome. Okay, so a couple of other things that I think went well with the song. Young and dumb, young, young and dumb. Young and dumb, 
That choir effect was something that I thought, whoa, I can add more than one voice and it's gonna be so cool. And I've used that in songs ever since. Now I have other singers come and sing on my music now, but before when it was just me, having that ability to do a choir effect was awesome. Hey, what do you think went well with the song or what would you change? Comment it down below. Your comments mean the world to me. I read and respond to every single one. With all the went wells, Let's talk about all the things I would change. You're gonna see my phone here because I got a list, baby. I got a list of stuff that I would change about this song. The first thing I would change about this song is my motive behind the lyrics. Like, when you're writing songs, don't write songs to impress other people or hoping that people will like it. Write songs because that's who you are and that's what you wanna write about. Like my latest song, Amy Rose, is the most authentic song I've got and it's my favorite because it means something to me. I don't care if anybody doesn't like it, I like it. And that's a powerful position to be in as a songwriter. And you don't need someone else's approval when you have earned your own. The second thing I would say in the one of the biggest things, if you gotta record a song ever or even just practice guitar or piano or any instrument, use a metronome. I used to think this was silly and boring and I thought, oh, you don't need a metronome. But man, when you play with a metronome, it locks you in so much tighter than you could ever be on your own. And you can really sync up the instruments to where it sounds like a live band more and less like some dude playing 12 parts. The next thing, and this is for people who want to record music, if you're gonna do it, the order that I recorded Young and Dumb in was horribly inefficient. 20 hours to do a song, in my opinion, is way too long. So what I would do in the future, and what I have done since. I record a scratch track, me singing and playing guitar at the exact same time. Then I add, and I do it to a metronome, and I add like a bass drum kicking in the background. I add all the drum parts, and I will literally record the whole entire drum part before I even put any instruments in. Then I do bass, then I add everything else. So drums and bass really help you lock into that groove and stay in the groove. Now I can do a song in about three to five hours. Much higher quality too but it's because over time you get faster and better at the things that come into recording music. And so I would say, if you're recording music, try to be efficient, try to cut all the things out the waste of your time because a lot of people burn out when they think, man, I can't do a song, that's 40 hours of work, that's a whole week, it seems like forever, but hang in there, keep putting your music out there, and I promise you, you'll get faster at it. In conclusion, Young and Dumb's not an awful song, that's why I haven't deleted it, but it is kind of a shallow lyric song with poor production qualities that I wish I could go back and change. Maybe one day I'll record it with the studio and get it actually up to the par of what I would want it to be. If you like this song, guys, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, throw a comment down below. Subscribe to catch more videos just like this one. Ring the bell so that you don't miss them. And guys, have a great day. God bless. And as always, take it easy.